Hello there, this is Rahul. This is an eight part series on HashiCorp Vault for managing your application secrets. I'll put the timestamp of each part into the description section below. So feel free to skip or jump into the another session which you like. So here is a quick glimpse on the topics which we are going to cover into this series. First, we are gonna start with the installation of our HashiCorp Vault. Second, we are gonna see how to start and stop your HashiCorp Vault server. Third, we are gonna perform some kind of an operation which includes read, write and delete uh, for managing your secrets. Secret. Fourth, we are going to take a look on the secrets path and the secrets engine. From the fifth part, it will be a little bit more interesting because where we will be seeing on how to generate the dynamic secrets from our AWS account. In the sixth part, we'll be taking a look onto the authentication and how to use the external authentication, for example, GitHub to manage the HashiCorp Vault authentication. Seventh part, we'll be focusing on the policies, like how you can write your own custom policies and apply to your HashiCorp Vault. And at last, we'll be taking a look on the user interface interface or the UI of our HashiCorp Vault as well as how to deploy your HashiCorp Vault into the production environment. Let's first start by the installation of our HashiCorp Vault. But before we start, let me give you a bit of information about what kind of operating system we will be using throughout this HashiCorp Vault series. So for all the session, I'll be using Ubuntu as my base operating system for installing the HashiCorp Vault. And if you are interested in any other operating system such as Windows, such as uh, Mac OS, or if you want to go to the manual way of installation, then you can follow the official documentation provided by a HashiCorp Vault. But rest of the instruction in this series will gonna work for other operating system also. So as of now, I'm just gonna use the Ubuntu Debian based instructions for installing the Vault. All right, the first step of installation is to add the PGP for the package signing key. So here you can see onto the screen. So this is going to be the first command which we will be running for installing our HashiCorp Vault. So this is my terminal. I'm, I'm just gonna paste the command over here and simply gonna hit enter. And it might ask, do you want to continue? Simply type yes and hit enter. It might take a few seconds and we are done. The next step in the installation is to add the HashiCorp JPG key. So this is the command which we will be running for installing the JPG key for HashiCorp. So this is my terminal. I'm just gonna clear the screen over here and I'm just gonna paste the command and simply hit enter and it will be really quick. After that, we need to verify the fingerprint and for that we need to run the next command, which is this. So again, this is my terminal. I'm just gonna clear the screen and I'm just gonna paste the command and simply hint to verify our fingerprint. Moving further, we need to add our HashiCorp repo into our apt manager of our Debian or Ubuntu operating system. And for that, we need to run this fourth command. So this is my terminal. I'm just gonna clear the screen and paste the command and simply hit enter and it will be really quick also. And finally, we need to run the update and the install command for our HashiCorp pod. And this is the command we need to run it. So this is my terminal. I'm just gonna clear the screen once again and I'm just gonna paste the update and install command for HashiCorp Vault and simply gonna hit enter. And now our HashiCorp Vault has been installed. And to verify the installation status of our HashiCorp Vault, we can run the command Vault version. And it should state the version of a Vault which you have installed. So here you can see this is the version that is 1.12 which we have installed onto my Ubuntu operating system. If you get this message, that means you have successfully installed your HashiCorp Vault. After installing HashiCorp Vault server successfully, in the next session, we'll be taking a look on how to start and stop your HashiCorp Vault server into development mode.